All right. So here's an example, ladies and gentlemen, of something. Now, you guys can obviously see that this is a discrete function, right? We do not have any values for, say, 1 or 1 1.5, correct? So as far as it um, coming in from this, we don't know as far as um, the continuity. Or to find the integral, even if it might say it's a continuous function, but we're only given these values, right? So as far as finding the integral of what we've known before, we can't do that, correct? Yes? OK? Um, because we don't have a function to obviously integrate. But if we're going to go and look into finding the, um, the left hand, um, left hand, uh, left hand sum, then basically what we're going to do is, and you can look at this graph it, but if we're going to ask for the left hand rectangular approximation method, then basically what we're going to want to do is say, all right, well, how many rectangles then we, can we start off with? Well, we're going to have f of 0 plus f of 2 plus f of 5 plus f of 7. Okay, now going in, now we need, but these are all different. Now the other thing I want you guys to notice is notice the intervals here. Remember in the last one when we created them, we created the intervals, they were always even. They were always one or they were always one or one half, right? That was kind of nice because now what we notice is the difference between on these rectangles is not the same. Remember, you're going from 0 to 2, right? So that's going to have a width of 2. Then you're going from 2 to 5, which now has a width of Three. You're going from 5 to 7, which has a width of 2. And then you're going from 7 to 8, which has a width of 1. So do I see how this is similar, but a little bit different than what we've been doing? So now it's basically f of 0. Did I plug it in there? Yeah. Is 0. Or it's really 2 times 0 plus 3 times 4 plus 2 times 13 plus um, f of 7, 1 times 21. And then my approximation is going to be 59. Got it? Yes, Massimenos? Huh? 